my curriculum game. I'm so freaking excited. I got my scissors. I got my scissors. I got my boxes. I got my boxes. I'm gonna open them. I'm so excited. I've drank way too much caffeine today. Who's with me? Let's get started. Yeah, I've drank way too much caffeine today. I drove to Ikea on a whim to get a 5x5 cube unit with a baby in tow because I'm crazy and now my curriculum came so I have to sit down and record this video and I'm about to cry because I'm so freaking excited. Let's do this. So I don't know what was on those boxes that got all over my shirt but I don't have time to change my shirt. I want to film this video and I'm so excited. If you've ever homeschooled and received your first box of curriculum, it is like Christmas morning for a five-year-old on steroids times a million. It's so exciting. <sighs> I just need to breathe. I have researched for hours and hours and hours and posted on a bazillion different Facebook groups trying to find the right curriculum for our family because I'm type A and a perfectionist and I'm a former teacher and I want to make sure I choose the right thing because I don't like wasting money. Before I jump in to tell you what I picked for next year, let's back up. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm not normally this crazy, but I'm on a lot of caffeine and had a very exciting day that did not go at all as planned, but in a very good way. And I have a first grader next year. She's six. She's in kindergarten at public school right now. I have a three and a half year old who is crazy and I love her, but she's full of life. And then I have a seven month old who's on track to be just as strong-willed and crazy as her older sisters, and I love it. It's gonna serve them well in the future, but it's a lot as their mom. Anyway, I did a whole video on why we decided to homeschool next year, why we quit school. I will link that video below, but let's just say I am a former English teacher. I taught middle high school English. I love literature, so you're definitely not gonna be surprised with why I chose what I chose, but um, I also taught daycare preschool for a few years. I did preschool in my home through my daycare. So I know a lot about early education um, and I've done tons of trainings and I know that learning through play and learning through hands-on experiences is the best for little kids. But our six-year-old is now kind of in between that and upper elementary. So we're kind of in between. And I knew I wanted something literature-based. After I started researching, read a lot of books about Charlotte Mason, I read The Call of the Wild and Free, I read Teaching from Rest, Mother Culture. So I really love that philosophy of kind of just letting God take over, but just introducing a lot of literature, a lot of art, a lot of beauty and nature, and letting children learn through that. But I also am very type A, and I wanted a curriculum that could guide me. And I really loved, I the first curriculum I found that was kind of this philosophy was called Moving Beyond the Page. I loved it because it takes real books, literature, and you learn through those books all kinds of things like geography and social studies and history and literature and language arts. And I loved how it kind of ties all of that together and you're learning through books. That is a secular curriculum. We are Christian, but I thought I would just add in our own Bible and stuff. That led me to Sunlight, which is also a literature-based curriculum. But after researching more about that, I just thought maybe it's too much literature. And I, I personally found their teacher's guides to be very confusing for me. I just wanted to be able to look down, quickly glance, and then know what I'm doing. I didn't want to have to read tons and tons and look through tons of pages. And that comes with a giant binder. And I'm sure it works great for some people and maybe eventually we'll use it. But it just seemed too overwhelming to me to begin with. And so I was on different Facebook groups and everybody kept saying, Heart of Dakota, Heart of Dakota, Heart of Dakota. And so that is what I went with for the core of our curriculum is Heart of Dakota. And maybe you guys have not heard of that. I hadn't heard of it. I've heard of a lot of other curriculums even before deciding to homeschool, but I had never heard of Heart of Dakota. To be honest, when I first found the website and saw the curriculum, it didn't look as snazzy and beautiful as some of the others, but it was right up my alley and I will show you why when I dig into it. But basically it's a lot like moving beyond the page in that it's literature based. You're hitting all different types of subjects within each unit. It's very Charlotte Mason, open-ended, deep, 
learning and using literature as your base but I love the the teachers guides because it's very straightforward there's a two page spread as I'll show you and it just tells you exactly what to do and basically everybody I've read that have used it have loved it and I'm just so excited I also decided to pick my own language arts and math because you can do that with a lot of the literature based programs you can pick and choose what you want for like phonics and reading as well as math and so I went with the good and the beautiful for that I know it is a LDS founded company basically Mormon a Mormon woman created it but we are not Mormon but um, it's not supposed to be integrated into the curriculum and I just wanted to try it because it looks really beautiful to be honest and it, I looked at the workbooks and it just seemed like something really fun for my preschooler to do as well as my first grader and we're also going to be doing their new math that comes with all new manipulatives but that's not being released until this summer so I'll do an unboxing of that when I get it so without further ado we're going to jump in and I can talk a little bit more about what I chose and why we'll start with the heart of Dakota because I think a lot of people probably haven't seen that one and I'm most excited for that one so excited. Okay. So it comes with their catalog, which is very thorough and gives a lot of descriptions of everything. Ooh, really nice packaging. I seriously feel like I'm unwrapping a present. The teacher in me is just so overwhelmed in the best way right now. So, oh, it's cold. Here is the teacher's guide. So I decided if you're familiar, a lot of curriculums with homeschooling don't necessarily say kindergarten, first grade, second grade, because every child learns on a spectrum. Not every child learns to read at the exact same time. They all have different skills that they're better at and not as good at. Um, and we all learn in different ways. And so with uh, Heart of Dakota, it has the preschool curriculum and then the kindergarten, the age five through seven curriculum is this one, which is Little Hearts for His Glory. And then there, the next one, which is ages six to eight is called Beyond Little Hearts for His Glory. And I really, really, really wanted to choose the Beyond curriculum because it was full of just like the best literature, learning about American history and diving deep into it. And it just looks so fun to teach. But everything I read was saying, try to get your kids um, in the middle of the spectrum or on the higher end unless they're super duper advanced because later on when they get to, I think it's the preparing, preparing hearts for God's glory, I think is what it's called, curriculum, the skills that they need for that, it's very rare that they have that before a fourth grade age level. And so if I started her with the beyond for first grade, she would get to the preparing at an earlier date than what people recommend for that so I decided to just start slow we're doing this one uh, I think she'll definitely grasp it she's definitely on the more advanced end when it comes to reading and math and things like that in her kindergarten class but there's so much in here so much richness of things we're going to be learning and I also thought we could just kind of integrate my three-year-old as well we'll probably go back and redo this with her if we love it when she gets to age five or six but she's gonna want to do everything with us so I thought this was the perfect level to start with and we can you know we can always change to the beyond and I can just save this for my younger daughter if we want and it's in color I wasn't sure so they just started printing the workbooks in color but basically there's a two-page spread for every single day if you guys see it's just laid out so nicely I can easily see exactly what we need to do for history dramatic play rhymes in motion Bible study uh, music, fine motor skills, story time, and then the phonics and math I will do with the good and the beautiful. But I just loved how open and go this was, but how just well thought out it is. So uh, I might do a more in-depth video on this as I go along. I did pick up their handwriting workbook, um, handwriting manuscript A. I think this is the first grade level. And you're just... You know, you're writing a lot of, it integrates it with the Bible, which I love. So you're writing Bible verses, practicing your writing. I also got the one from the good and the beautiful, so I can kind of pick and choose what I want to do. So for the science, I believe this is the science. This comes with the Our Father's World. With 
Heart of Dakota, you can kind of pick depending on where your child's at for some of the curriculum because you can use it for multiple grades. So they had like kindergarten options and then they had first grade options. So I went with the first grade options within this um, Little Hearts for His Glory. So we picked the second edition for science. I also picked up the master book science curriculum. It hasn't come yet just because I like the workbook and it's talking about living versus non-living and plants and animals and I just thought it looked really fun so I could try it out and see what we thought but that's that. And then the history book we're using is History for Little Pilgrims. So it's just um, taking you through basically cre creation to now I believe is what this curriculum it's kind of like a whole history overview before you jump into American history in the next curriculum guide next year. And then they have these like logic and thinking workbooks. So there's going on eagerly. So there's, it's just like patterns and spot the difference and different things like that just to kind of get their brains going, helping them learn how to follow directions, which I just thought was really cool and kids really like doing those. It's a fun way to challenge them so there's two of those and then with basically any literature based curriculum you're going to spend most of your money on literature but i found with basically all of them that i looked at they try to package what they're selling for the literature for a really reasonable rate so it's usually cheaper to get it brand new through the company at a package rate than trying to get it on Amazon or looking for it or even trying to get it at the library because they might use different versions and it might not line up. And a lot of this curriculum is reading a little bit here and a little bit there. And so you're not reading everything all at once, if that makes sense. So let's just quickly look at what came with this. So we have history stories for children. So this is cool. So this goes along with the History for Little Pilgrims book. These are a little bit more like chapters. Um, there are some pictures. There are poems. There are comprehension questions, vocabulary words, extension activities. That looks really cool. I'm excited to use that. And then I picked the Family Time. Oh, actually, I think I got both Bibles. <laughs> I did. So I love kids' Bibles. We read the Bible every night um, with our two older girls. And... We do it usually separately with a Bible that kind of fits their age. So I'm always looking for new Bibles. So I just bought both the kindergarten recommended one and the first grade recommended one. So this is 101 favorite stories from the Bible. And so it's just like a page story, a picture. There are um, Bible verses and then there are questions, which is pretty cool. So that's very straightforward. I like that. And then the family time Bible in pictures is very similar so just like a two page spread and then um, pictures this one doesn't have questions though so there you go and then it also comes with a devotional this is called devotions for the children's hour Ooh, so these are a little bit longer so it says like how God made Adam and Eve there's black and white pictures and it's like a three pages there's questions a prayer and a song to sing that's cool. And then our books that we will be reading are all like classics. So we have Peter Rabbit, a lot of the Thornton Burgess books. So there's Buster Bear, Danny Meadow Mouse, Grandfather Frog, Chatterer the Little Red Squirrel, Reddy Fox, Jerry Muskrat, and Peter Cottontail. So these are like chapter books. They're very classic with some black and white pictures, but um, so these will all be integrated in as well. So that is the Heart of Dakota curriculum. I will definitely update you guys how we're liking it once we get into it. And I'm so excited to dig into that. But let's look at what I got from The Good and the Beautiful. My girls are gonna love the bubble wrap. Okay, so I kind of forgot even why I ordered this. I ordered it a few weeks ago and it just finally came. So I decided to order my first, will be first grader the kindergarten phonics language arts set because I felt she isn't quite ready for the first grade yet but she's kind of too advanced for the kindergarten one so I thought we would work on the kindergarten one now and over the summer and hopefully then by the fall she will be ready for the first grade one so we got the level k reader this just has different 
you know, stories for them to read. All in one spiral bound spot, really nice. And then I just, I really like their workbooks. So they have beautiful artwork that you can look at and discuss. And then there's writing, there's reading, there's phonics, and it's just very straightforward, um, which I really like. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to dig into this. I think she'll really like it. We might even try to do a page a day every night, even after she goes to kindergarten, just because it's fun. She loves learning, and so I don't feel like it will be too much, but if it does get to be too much, we'll just hold off. But that's why I ordered this now. And then it also comes with phonics cards as well as mini books that I would need to open, but I'm not going to open right now. And then I also ordered the doodles and pre-writing for littles. So I wanted to see kind of what their handwriting booklets were like. So this one is for my three-year-old to start learning how to write. I just really like how this is pre-writing. So it's not letters and things. It's just helping them learn how to trace and follow lines and it's fun like they're decorating a cake now they're drawing wheels for a car and then they can color it um, and then you get to zigzags and lines and things so I just I think she'll really like that and that way my three-year-old will feel like she gets to do something fun too and so I will probably also order the handwriting for my first grader as well because I just I like their workbooks. They look really beautiful and fun and I think they'll really enjoy them. So those are my curriculum choices. I would love to know if you homeschool, what curriculum you like to use, any tips you have. I'm very new to this. You can head over to my community tab and comment there since YouTube has disabled my comments. I am so excited to go on this journey and take you guys along with me. I'm not gonna be talking homeschool all the time. But it's definitely going to be a regular part of this channel now because it's a part of my life and I like to talk about things in my life and it's going to be a huge part of what's happening day in and day out around my home. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe and like this video and come back soon for more videos. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.